Hello everyone and welcome to this Gate.io tutorial. In this video I will show you how to enable the two-factor authentication on the Gate.io exchange. So if you want to enable the two-factor authentication, the first thing you will need to do is to go over to the website and log in. Once you're logged in, go over to the top right and then hover your mouse over this icon. You'll then see this pop-up. Over at this pop-up, go over to security verification. You can also see your current safety strength right here. As you can see, my current safety strength is too weak. So if you want to change that, click on security verification. You'll then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one. Right here, you'll want to scroll down over to security verification. I'll put all the important timestamps in this video in the description. So if you want to enable the SMS two-factor authentication, go over to immediate binding. Then click on the button. Over at this page, the first thing you will need to fill in is your names and the family names. So due to privacy reasons I will blur this out, but just fill in your full legal name. Once you've done that, you will now need to select the country you live in. So in my case that's going to be the Netherlands. Now you will need to fill in your phone number. Once you have filled in your phone number, now fill in the fun password. By the way, if you forgot your fun password, you can watch this video on how to reset your fun password. Now Gate.io will ask you to fill in the email code and the SMS code. So first off click on the send email code button. Now you will get a 6 figure code in your email. And over on this page, this is the code you will want to copy. Once you've got the email code, go back over to Gate.io and paste the code in. Now you will also need to fill in the SMS code, so click on the send SMS button. And as you can see, I've now got the code on my phone, so I'll go ahead and fill in the code. Once you've filled in everything you need to fill in, click on Setup SMS. Now I'll show you how to enable the two-factor Google authentication. As you can see, the Google verification is used as a safety verification when you log in, withdraw or change safety settings. If you cannot retrieve the SMS code smoothly, you may use the Google authentication instead. So to activate the Google authentication, again go over to Immediate Binding. Now you'll be sent over to a page looking similar to this one. Right here you will also see this click here button, so click on that button. The first step is to install the Google Authentication on your smartphone. But as you can see, I've already got the Google Authenticator installed on my phone. The second step to set up the Google Authenticator is to click on the plus button to add a new account. So open up the Google Authenticator and then click on the plus button in the bottom of the right side. Now click on the scan QR code button. Since my language is most likely different from yours, you need to click on the button with the camera in it. Right now I've got Gate.io over in the Google Authenticator, but we're not done yet. Now you need to fill in the 6 digit code generated in the Google Authenticator. Below that you need to fill in your fund password and below the fund password you need to fill in the email code. To achieve that click on the send email code button. So I need to fill in 527262 as my TOTP and then click on the enable two-factor authentication. Once completed activating the Google Authenticator, you'll be sent over to this page. So again, go over to this icon and click on security verification. And as you can see, my current safety strength has upgraded to medium, since the Google Authenticator has been activated. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.